NFT technology just gets better and better every day. Today, I'm gonna to take a look at the Solana blockchain and give you some basic breakdown of how it works and why I think it could be the next big NFT blockchain to smash on the scene with some amazing projects that we're gonna take a quick look at. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about the Solana blockchain. This is an up and coming blockchain that has gained in a lot of popularity recently. And so I wanna do a quick breakdown about the blockchain itself, a little bit of how it works, but really highlight some of the really cool projects on here because I think Solana could be the next big NFT focused blockchain. Now their main goal is not necessarily all about NFTs, but there's some amazing projects on there that we're gonna to highlight today that I really think show that Solana has a really great start to the NFT scene. And I think it's gonna to continue to crush it when it comes to some of these other blockchains that are just getting started with their NFT ecosystems. But before we get into all that, if you love NFTs and gaming and make and earning money in crypto, Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, smash that like button if you want to continue to maximize your gaming gains with me. All right, so when it comes to Solana and what's going on here in this world, you know, Solana is a new blockchain architecture that's based on what they call proof of history. Now, proof of history is, uh, you know, their unique form of consensus. It is a Byzantine fault tolerant based form of consensus, and it uses this new proof of history. And what that really just means is that it inserts the transaction time directly in the block so the chain doesn't have to wait until the current block is finished to keep moving forward transactions. So that's a pretty big thing. You know, usually you have these different these uh, nodes that are kind of trying to talk to each other and decide what is going on before something is then committed to a block. In this case, you know, the, the actual time is one of those big things that's holding it up. Like, well, when was this block created? When is it going to be finalized? Uh, this is something that is done independently with proof of history. So it is kind of a, you know, a very simple sounding thing, but it is quite the leap forward when it comes down to, uh, you know, how blockchains work natively uh, in the background. So uh, the good thing about Solana 2 is that it's extremely fast in comparison to other L1 smart contract blockchains like Ethereum. Uh, it goes to about 60,000 transactions per second. And so that is a pretty big number. And we've seen some other blockchains get there, but not at that same level uh, consistently, but Solana is definitely pushing that amount of transactions per second. So, and then when you look at the other big thing when it comes down to smart contract platforms, uh, where you are developing these NFT games or NFT ecosystems, the transaction fees are a, a fraction of what they would be on Ethereum. So just to give you a little bit of idea, uh, for every 1 million transactions on the platform, it would cost about $10, which is like a 0 .00001 of a cent. So it is incredibly cheap to be able to send transactions. You can think about what that is in comparison to Ethereum, where sometimes the transaction fees can get up to like $80 per transaction. And so Solana has definitely, uh, you know, looked at uh, that as one being one of the main, uh, you know, pain points that they wanted to overcome. So, uh, you know, we're looking at high speed, high throughput, and they use a form of proof of stake to also validate and double check the proof of history uh, transactions that are going on. So uh, really looking at, uh, you know, being a, a blockchain that is decentralized and has a bunch of nodes that perform the same as like what a single node would. So you having this uh, network of decentralized nodes uh, and, and they're all using these uh, this proof of history uh, algorithm or a proof of history, uh, you know, consensus to be able to continually put through as many transactions as possible. And this is something we need for NFTs and for gaming in particular. Gaming NFTs, it's huge, right? We need to have things like working like this in games because we don't want to be waiting around for a marketplace in an in game transaction for five minutes so I can get my sword or my weapon, right? Uh, or get my ship or, or whatever it may be uh, to, to be going inside the game. So, Important to have that going on. Uh, and so one of the big things too is that Solana is all about uh, being cross-chain. And, and so they have this cross-chain bridge called the Wormhole, which allows you to transfer uh, compatible assets from Ethereum to Solana. So when you talk about, okay, well, who's going to build on Solana? You know, just like similar to Binance Smart Chain, where it's somewhat EVM compatible, 
uh, Solana has this uh, has this wormhole that allows you to transfer back and forth. Uh, and so they are building some bridges to other protocols like Bitcoin and to BSC and Terra as well as some others. So really looking forward to that cross-chain capability there because that's something huge. And when it comes down to NFTs, we really need that, right? I don't wanna just keep having my NFTs on one platform or another. I want them to be able to work across all these different chains and uh, Solana understands that and is building towards the future. So really about that multi-chain future, I love that. Uh, and right now when you talk about uh, you know the, the viability of the blockchain in general, it has about a sixth of the amount of nodes that Ethereum has currently. Uh, with about 3.5% of Ethereum's market cap. So there is a lot of room for growth when it comes down to it being a dominant smart contract platform. And uh, it's already grown quite a bit. So even at the level it's at right now, uh, if it grows even five or 10% more, there's a lot of room for profit there and a lot of room for growth in general. So Solana has about 250 verified products already built on it and has some of the most daily active uh, monthly and uh, daily development uh, and really strong development community. So when you look at things like a GitHub and the amount of commits and things it has there, there's a lot of activity going on on Solana in general. So uh, also one of the cool things they've done recently is they just launched a $5 million creator fund to try and attract creative people. So like musicians, artists, uh, to try and come into the ecosystem. So that's a pretty interesting uh, factor. They understand that creators are, uh, are a big driver of adoption and of content. So why wouldn't you wanna get those on there, right? So let's go take a look at some of the top NFT and gaming focused projects that are on Solana because I think this is what really makes me excited about this as a platform for NFTs and why I'm gonna start covering some of these NFT projects on Solana a lot more. Okay, so here we are on the first project I wanted to highlight real quick, and this is called Audius. This is a music platform that allows you to, uh, you know, upload your your uh, music and essentially tokenize it, right? So you have this uh, really great platform that is focused on musicians and music. And I've talked about this many times on my channel, but music NFTs are going to be one of the biggest applications for NFTs outside of gaming. I'm also a musician, so having Audius here uh, actually, you know, makes me very bullish. So, you know, they, they, it's, there's a lot going on on this platform. I'm not going to break down every feature, but uh, there's already a bunch of really big artists on here, very much focusing on like the EDM scene. So you can see Dead Mouse there and Blau, who've all done uh, some some uh, NFT stuff. Uh, but it's not just uh, re relegated to just uh, electronic artists. So. Uh, so with Audius, you know, you can put up your content here and, you know, they don't focus so much on the fact that things are NFTs here on the website, uh, but it is powered by Solana and the NFTs themselves are powered by Solana. So really cool product there and they have their own token as well, which you can check out, which I'll be doing a video on uh, here in the future. Now, another project that I have uh, talked about too is uh, Star Atlas. And this is an NFT focused game that is all about exploring the universe and it is going to be built in Unreal Engine, so you know it's going to look fantastic. Uh, they're really just getting started with this. They've released just some basic uh, promotional NFT posters, uh, so they don't have any kind of gameplay just yet. But from things that I've seen and some of the, the basic uh, uh, you know, preliminary white paper stuff, uh, Star Atlas looks like it's shaping up to be a, a really cool game here in the future, and I can't wait to be able to check out some of the alpha content when they have it ready for me to, to, to get on, right? And you guys know I want, I'm going to get on that Star Atlas alpha so you guys can see what it looks like. Now, the last project I want to I talk about real quick is uh, Lollapalooza NFTs. These are NFTs that... Uh, that are yes yeah, so that are literally it's uh, the Lollapalooza network here oh, let's see it's not loading real quick let me see i gotta turn my shield off here the brave shield had it down so uh Lollapalooza, and listen this is something that uh you know is pretty interesting to me because this is uh, actually uh being supported by ticketmaster slash live nation and so they have done these set of collectible nfts and uh, you know some of them are posters and they have some other ones that are, are from uh, previous years, but they have like these what they call landmark collections. So uh, Lollapalooza has kind of teamed up here to, with Solana to be able to uh, release some of these cool NFTs and you can see they're very limited. There's only a hundred of a lot of these and they actually had a free NFT you could have redeemed uh, a little while ago, but it is now sold out. Uh, they've done a Crypto Kicks collection, a, cri a Crypto Kickers collection, and they have some other really cool NFTs going on here. I think this is just the first of NFTs that are music focused uh, when it comes to some concerts like this. I think we'll see a lot more from Ticketmaster and Live Nation uh, working in a similar capacity here 
uh, with this Lollapalooza drop. I think this is kind of the very first one. So excited to see some of these going on here and what uh, they're doing with NFTs on Solana. So I hope you guys like this quick breakdown of Solana blockchain and why I think it could be the future for NFTs or one of the big com uh, competitors as an NFT network. Definitely some games coming to it, some great applications with music as well. And those are my two top uh, NFT uh, applications right now, gaming and music. So you know I'm in love. And uh, then we add Lollapalooza like that when you're talking about, uh, you know, not just musicians uploading, but actual festivals and concerts getting involved too. It just takes it to another level when it comes down to uh, you know festival merch and, and collectibles from your favorite music fest and experiences. So I hope you guys like this uh, breakdown. Let me know what you think about Solana. Have, are you picking up some soul or, or are your bags already packed or, or is it something you're just getting into? Let me know in the comments below. That's all we have for today, folks. Till next time, stash that crypto, friends.